How's it going everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Jexims and today we're going to jump into this little game here called Homestead Arcana. I was doing a little uh, searching around the other day just for some random stuff and I read up on this game and it seemed like something that was pretty calm and something that I uh, could get into. So uh, it's got farming and a little bit of adventuring in it. So um, let's jump in and see what it's all about. So let's go ahead and create a save and get to customize our character let's see what are we we're gonna hmm, how weird do i want to make this one no i should let's let's go green red we'll go we'll go more on the red side make not that not that right there eye color do blue eyes just still eyes Ooh, wait that was a nice purple fuck yeah let's go there and uh not billy we're we're, we're not gonna name it. we're gonna name Jezebel. That is not how you spell Jezebel. This isn't how you spell. Actually, I don't know how you actually spell Jezebel, but that's how I'm going to spell Jezebel. So fuck you if that's not how you spell it. Uh, curtain bangs. No, that looks lame. Shags or puffs? Poofs. To the shag. Why not? Yeah, the shag looks good. Hair color. Can I do neon green by chance? Like, could I somehow make this a neon green? Maybe I can pull it off? I mean, that's not neon green, but it's like a bright green like I'm kind of hoping for. Maybe. Oh, yep. There we go. There we go. Yep. And the eyebrows got to match the hair, of course. So we'll just do the same thing. Yeah, I think that looks good. She's got big f fuck. Oh, wait, it saved it. Thank fuck. Okay. Okay, perfect. Jezebel, are you ready to begin your adventure? Yes. I've really been looking for a game that's been like, I haven't really played anything that's super calm lately. So I'm really happy to get into in something that I think is going to be that for me. I like, I don't mind getting mad at games, but I've been playing a lot that's been of fact, making me yell at my screen, used to which isn't always all over great. the surface of the earth. And scattered outposts and bustling cities. And whether it was by divine punishment by the or divine by punishment of human greed, we lost all those things. I think this might be our grandmother These that's days, talking, possibly. Folks live on barren mountaintops. I only read a little bit about this game. The day very, the very little. fog rises high enough to poison what little land there is left. We're supposed to. No, there no, were she's still brave fucking going. Never mind. I'll just let the cutscene play out. We'll, we'll enjoy this together. But they paid dearly for it with nothing in return. No, there is little hope for long term survival now. Instead, towns like Little Rock endure to thrive as much as they possibly can with the time they have left. They establish initiatives like the Homestead Arcana program, which places witches of age at lower elevations so they may cultivate plants for back home. With the lack of viable land, this means witches settle right next to the border where the miasma lies. Though Little Rock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all costs. Little Rock, as in like Little Rock, of death, Arkansas, or worse, or something separate, as of no relation. That's the only Little Rock I know, and maybe it's supposed to be taking place in Arkansas. Arkansas is like barren as fuck in it. Maybe I don't know. I've never been to Arkansas, but I assume out in the Midwest like that, this right? Stop, ain't it? And definitely someone named Abraham probably <laughs> lives out in Arkansas. That's reasonable. Got everything on you, bud? Huckleberry. Also, someone who definitely lives out in the fucking uh, Arkansas. Thanks for the ride, Abraham. Uh, is our yep. fuck? Is that cat? Well, wait, named Huckleberry? Oh, that's awesome. We love that. <laughs> why well well enough, wait, why can, is a cat like a familiar? Is that why? Hmm. All right, we have a talking cat with us. All right. Named Huckleberry. Let's on down. 
I don't know that I like that the cat's leading me around, but okay. We can we can vibe with that, I suppose. Well, there's the miasma. Hell of a lot of miasma that I can't get past. But I do know that there's stuff that we can do to push it back. So let's go and see what we can find down at the bottom of the hill here. Look at that tree. That's a really nice tree with egg sacs sitting all along it. Can I go pop them like a pimple? And hopefully not get boozed on. I can see that there's a garden around it. I assume that's where I got to go. I can plant some of the botanicals and shiz. Hello, Huckleberry. Why are you staring Dusty. at me like that? That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly changed. Well, except for all that miasma. You've been here? Yeah. Aunt Matilda's old homestead is somewhere in that canyon. Oh, it's our aunt, not our grandmother. Of course, grandmother. it's covered in miasma now. Who knows what's left? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but... I've he didn't only feel like coming out here week, you know? on his own with me. I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. Well, how so nice of you. the first right is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, there. you'll need to start off with a tent. Oh. Not the most well, sturdy camping is always fun. But, eh, gotta start somewhere. Hey, hey, camping has never been the worst thing. As long as we got some warm nights out here, I don't mind. And what, do I just... Oh, wait. Like that? Yeah. I saw it highlight. That'll keep the elements out. Probably. Maybe, don't worry. You'll get the materials to build a proper house before long. Just like your Aunt Matilda did. Hey man, I'm a strong, capable now, young woman. I can do this. Demonstrates your botany know Ain't gonna be nothing too you hard. To plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little rock favorite. Corn. Hey, okay. Corn seedling, plantable. The humble beginnings of a tall stalk. I believe is what that said. So what, do I just go over here to one of the... To one of these plots and try to plant it. All these plots look like overgrown and thorny. I'm assuming I don't plant it in the house or in the tent. We don't have a home just yet. I assume I don't plant it there, but where is the plots that I can plant it in? Do I just plant it like anywhere? Oh, right. yeah, okay. Now awesome. I want to see you cast a watering spell. We have spells? Well, I guess it wouldn't be called Homestead Arcana if uh, we didn't have spells, huh? How do I do my inventory again? No. You haven't given me spells or told me how to use my spells yet there. Or do I just... Oh, I just go up to it and press one to water. One to... Oh. And water. That should help oh. Grow. Let there be little. water. Of oh. course, channeling is much more effective. You do know how to channel, right? No, no. Uh, Stop of course I do, but I, a little refresher never before? hurt. Channeling is that thing you do where you pull mana from the earth and guide it through the plant, making it instantly grow. You well, that know, sounds helpful. Uh, give That's me a little how to on like that, if you don't mind. You channel. Channeling. Uh, used to grow instantly, press two and select the part of the plant. I have to choose the part of the plant. But I don't have to hold two, so just, let's just grow the stem. And then, can I grow it again? Or am I still ch- wait. Handling part two. Earthman is attracted to your curse. Oh. Oh, like that? And then just grab all this, and right there. Oh. Okay, that's cool. We got our first corn right there. Or our first two corns. Almost. Harvesting. When yield is ripe, you can harvest it with no active tool. Select the yield key. Wait, am I doing it again? Wait, I'm channeling again. I did not mean to do that. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Big boy stock. Okay. And he said... Wait, so now... End? And wait, how do I... He said yield. How did I... Oh, harvest. There we go. Uh... Mm, well, he said I can do it with no active tool, so why can't I do this? No, oh. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. Imagine if you couldn't channel, huh? Of course, oh, okay, that was easy. I think I just pulled it down, is what happened. 
All things in moderation, right? Wait, what do you mean over? Oh, Second if I ride is complete. What if I like now over channel it? I can blight it, which I assume You'll would not be great. You prove yourself as a witch by building a cauldron and then brewing spell potions. Now I can't cool. just give you a cauldron. That's part of the witching test. Yes, of course. But technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a witch, right? So you'll help me make that. I got you there, Huckleberry. Placing our basic workbench used for crafting. Awesome. Hold on. I still have a bit of this corn to uh, eat off of the stalk. There we go. And give me that. Awesome. Now I have a crafting station that I should go probably go put. Where's the tent? Over here. I should probably go put this in the tent. Or at least near it if it won't let me put it in it. Which it does not. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. Why can't I place it right here? This is more of an ideal spot. Why do you want me to place it down here? I don't want to place it down there. I want to place it up there. Place it in the shade. Or, I don't... Of all the places I want to put it, I do not want to put it like... Okay. Fuck it. I'm being picky. You know what? Place it right here at the front of the tree. Not too close to the steps. I don't mean to nag, but... Are you sure that's the best place for it? Well, you wouldn't Try let me put it in a better back. spot. Oh, the... Uh, well, I can... Wait. Buildings, plants that have already... With F, I can just... Lift mode? It... Lift? Oh. And I can literally just move it anywhere. Okay, well... Yeah, you're right. You're right. That is in a great spot. Let's move it... A couple inches to the right. Not sure if that's a good spot. Anyway... The it, cauldron. What are you critiquing me wood for every little bit of the way, Huck? Lavender you can't even move it. You don't even have opposable thumbs, the, you little shit. Well, cauldron. You can ah, get yes, some of course. those things in right the, to the cauldron. To the north, but that's blocked off. Luckily, I have all the ingredients you need. Awesome. Is it on that little pouch on your back? You seem to have a lot of stuff on you for such a small cat. Sorry. Small fam Honestly, what the hell is he? Is he a familiar? I'm assuming. Craft. Oh. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. And I assume I collect that craft stack. And Very now nice. I can place the cauldron right, right next to it. brings me to the third right. Potion making. With what you currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's all right. Ripple is plenty useful. What the hell oh, is a ripple right. potion? Can I rip a hole in space-time? Are ask, we already that I advanced? I have some on me, but uh, these will be the last of the handouts. Your generosity is very short-lived, eh? Silver. Oh, silver pieces, like money. The only existing currency left in the world. Okay. So, okay, let's place down the cauldron first. Right there. And potions ripple spell. Details. What does it do? One of the first spells, it's easy to craft. It does not tell me what it does, but I assume, I guess, Kitty will tell me. Let's not use my last year of corn. I'll just make one for now. Hold on to it. And pa -pa 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 -pa. potion. Give me that. What's it do? People are always losing things, right? And mm -hmm. Ripple is great for finding stuff. So this will be a bestseller for sure. I like Anything. finding things, especially You've good loot. That'll help me do that. Rights. So you're now officially a part of the Homestead Arcana program. Congratulations. Your reward lies in... in... You okay there, Huck? Oh, no. No, what is it? You have to understand the miasma tides are unpredictable. When I hit it... A week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. What I'm saying You're telling is, me now I think you're it's covered up by the miasma. Hmm. Yeah, it's not good at all. Okay, I'm always down for a good bit of danger. As long as it doesn't get too crazy. I was hoping it Maybe. wasn't going to come to this. Well, not so soon, anyway. When you're ready, meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? When I'm ready, okay. Well, I don't really see any reason why I shouldn't be ready already unless I want to go grow some more ears of corn for making ripple potions. But I don't know about how not to trigger the blight, so I feel like maybe 
I shouldn't, but I'm going to do it anyway. He said meet him at the edge of the miasma and maybe... Oh, is that him down there? Oh, yeah. There you are. What's this? Is this my hat? That looks like a marker. All right. As I have my second miasma. Through that veil, you're gonna be Why? Why I didn't mean to put you right between you my legs. Find the reward as soon as possible. It's in a crate not too far from here, but it might be hard to see it. Drinking All right. a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better. Oh. Come on, give it a sip. Oh, okay. Well, that makes this easy then. Spe spell slot. Wait, I have to equip it in spell slot one. Okay, so I, now I should be able to cast it. Oh, okay, wait, it's for. Hey, where are you going? That's the me. Wait, what do you, motherfucker? Didn't you? Did you not want me to come down this way? Wait. I see it going off. Wait. Notice how I'm big and bright. Oh, Anything okay. Important will light up like I do. Okay, okay. spells use mana Don't while casting mana will regenerate over time with no spell being used. Uh, use drinks to heal mana crate. faster. It shouldn't be too far from the entrance. Okay, so I I was under the impression that uh, I needed something special to go into the miasma. I didn't think that I'd just be able to walk in here. I guess it's timed, is uh, what I wasn't understanding. Is all? Wait, is that? Wait, is that the uh, blasting powder? Okay, that's good. That's oh okay that oh that's exactly what I needed. What the hell is that? Uh, okay, my health is going down rapidly. Okay, I can walk on it. It's not dangerous. But I should probably get out of here before I take far too much damage. Because it is draining the hell out of me. I'm already at half. I have the blasting powder. Talk. What do I do okay. with it now? Are you dizzy? How's your breath? Your blood pressure? Calm down. Sun I live. High. It's bad, isn't it? Okay. No. This is fine. We just need to get you to eat something. Okay. I the could do it with food. I'm hungry as hell, man. Right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Over there, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat. Awesome. Let's go. Come on, Huck. I... You following? Hell yeah. Let's go, buddy. Oh, I see pink rock. There it is. Go blast this shit up. Oh, that that was a lot easier than I was going to assume. You bet you could even find a bush of meadow if you looked hard enough. But first, you need to find an apple if only to make your familiar worry less. Okay, so, oh, okay, there's my confirmation. Is a familiar, in fact. Cool, cool. Let's apple. Let's apple it up. Oh, apple tree. Yoink. Material used for crafting only found in the wild. Oh, awesome. Crab apple. Give it a bite. Perfect. I'm gonna grab them all first. Hold on. More apple? Anywhere? No? Okay, I yoinked all the apples. And the yellow bar indicates hunger over the, uh, over time, the bar will decrease. When it's empty, you lose most, you will lose most of your health and not be able to run. When full, you gain extra health. Okay, cool. And I even have wild onions here. Can I, can I move the onions? I have that shovel, right? Or can I only do that at my plots? Well, even so, I can grow the onions since I'm here, right? There we go. And then, what do you mean? Channel. And uh, oh, there we go. Wild onion. Fuck yeah. Get that. Harvest. Is there another one? I can't. The hail happened to the plant. Where'd it go? Oh, there you are. Your baby plant now. You should you look like you need some water, baby plant. And maybe a little channeling. Alright, I've got my couple wild onions. Let's go ahead and uh eat that apple. Like you wanted us to oh. Feeling better? Yeah, there we you go. Keep looking around here, by the way. Lots, lots of wood, of wood lots of metal, metal, and herbs and spices. Snout. I can I see that. I understand that you might want to explore the miasma mm -hmm. some more, but there are other things you can be doing. Like exploring. For example, like exploring. Abraham why would I want to do anything else? Time now. And when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. Okay. And, oh, a very mysterious, you Huck. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there. Okay. I, I I do enjoy checking my mail, I suppose. That'll be something. But I saw something. What's this? Compost. You Item used on plants boosts the speed of growth. Cool. All right. I saw something gl glittering over this way, and I want to check it out. Could just be fireflies. Could be something interesting, though. Oh, he's right. There is metal. Wait, can I... Do I just pull this off the same that I... 
do everything else. Oh, metal clusters. There we go. Ew. Is there another? There we go. Cool. I suppose there's only so much metal on it, but can I move that piece and break it off? No. No. Okay. Well, fair enough. I mean, I got some. I got a couple pieces of metal. All right. That's five pieces of metal. Uh. I'm going to assume that they don't exactly grow back, so those are finite. But if I somehow manage to come back and they're uh, there, I'm going to be a little concerned, but also very grateful. Oh, I can whip it around to the miasma there. Oh, wait, that's How's a birch tree. Uh, I have nothing for All you. Right. I wanted the How's tree. No, fuck off. All I right. wanted the tree, you bastard. Here, I want... I don't know, wait. Maybe, wait, oh, there we go. I can harp if it's just with my hand. That's good. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can even back away from the tree. I didn't even realize that. So I can see a little bit more. Oh, oh shit. I didn't even know I could. Oh wait, I bet I probably could have looked up on that apple tree too and gotten, um, some more some well some more apples on the apple tree obviously tend to what the hell is saffron i have no idea what the fuck saffron is but i mean i have it used for for crafting found in the wild oh it's a spice that just means i can make good food stuff with this all right let's grab some of that and do i heart or feed it a bit more and grow it up i suppose just to grab a little bit more before i head out Almost forgetting how to use the freaking uh, channel. And there we go. More saffron. Okay. Let's, uh... What is that? I didn't... Uh, dude, it was a little dark when I came over here. What is that? I mean, it really just kind of looks like a windmill. I was kind of asking about the bit that's below it, but that doesn't look like any... Doesn't even look like someone could fit in. I thought it was like a... Like a nest for someone to sit in. I, for some reason, am going back for the catnip. I'm not going to har- I'm only going to harvest it once. I don't really care for catnip. Well, well, maybe I should care for the catnip, but I don't really see what use I could have for catnip when I'm not a cat. And I don't really know what use he could have for catnip. Maybe he gets hyperactive and goes find shit for me. That would be actually amazing. Can't do any metal workings right now, so what would I- Maybe I'd have to- explore into the um miasma to find or maybe maybe i'd have to wait until um damn it i forgot his name abraham maybe i'd have to wait till abraham comes back uh before i have stuff i can work my metal with jezebel we're so proud of you without folks like you joining the homestead arcana program i'd fear little rock's livelihood uh instead we managed to not only survive but thrive pops zeb and i are all going to miss you but we know you're doing important work we'll support you as best we can to start i've sent over one of your favorites pumpkin pie awesome and what's on the next page oh just a pumpkin pie all right cool love that craftable with a grill consumable awesome that's all my mail but it was a nice message from the people back home my eyes look wild big Alright y'all, and with that good congratulations and support from our people back home, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a comment down below. Let me know that you did. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that bell notification so you guys do not miss when the next episode goes out. And as always, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you all next time. Peace.